Hey guys, well this is Johnny Doom, welcome to another video. This is XCOM 2, and um, this is, I don't want to say this is my first time playing it, because it isn't. I tried playing it when I first bought it, and I struggled, and I kept dying. But I kind of did my research a little bit, and um, yeah, I'm going to try it out again, and I'm going to record it, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I really love the st strategic type of uh, turn-based, you know, gameplay of it, and I, I really love these types of games, so that's why I want to record it, because I really love turn-based games and stuff, and and yeah, so let's get right into it, and hopefully my characters I created are still there, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to put it on Rookie, because the last time I struggled a whole lot, and uh, if this is easy, then... Hopefully it's a little bit easier than than the normal, because <laughs> I struggled a lot. In an Iron Man game, your progress is saved automatically, meaning every choice you make is final. Iron Man mode is the ultimate XCOM experience. Um, no, because I struggle a lot. Optional narrative content. This mission introduces the story of the alien hunter's content. All gameplay content, including weapons, armors, and new enemies will be enabled without this mission. This mission introduces the story of Shen's last gift content. All gameplay content, including the new Soldier Blast, will still be enabled without this mission. Um. I don't know. Hmm. So this is the DLC, because I got the, um. Not the game of the year. What do you call it? Um. I, I got the one that came with all the DLC. Oh, I can't remember what it was called, though. Hmm. Right on. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. Position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds.
Ukrainians have had long enough to establish their peaceful enclaves within the city centers. It's time we move in and show them the fight isn't over yet. We're deploying to hit a high-profile target, one that they won't be able to cover up so easily. Move to secure the target site and eliminate any hostile contacts in the area. That was pretty, uh, pretty intense. So I guess my characters are still there. Right on. on the target. Move to place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Okay. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. neutralized. So I'm not sure if this is part of the DLC or if um, or if this is basically um, the first mission, but I, I kind of remember the first mission being different. I struggled a whole lot, but I remember it being different. But uh, maybe this is the DLC. The Advent officers but, uh, seem more yeah. capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or... Oh, damn. They spotted me. Good. Uh oh. Oh, thank goodness for that. I'm hoping I can keep these guys alive, but then again, I'm not holding my hopes. Oh, I'm not gonna keep my hopes up because the last time 
all my created characters died. <laughs> so we'll see how I how I do though. Six percent. Yeah, I figured. Get it together. <clears throat> Move into position. Menace one five, you're near the target position. I was actually, I'm, I'm really, really surprised. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace 15 5 we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Heading there now. Plan C4. <laughs> Menace 15 5 rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Dead no Dead on. So I'm... I'm still confused. I don't know if this is the actual game or if that was DLC, but... All my characters survived. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that, because last time they all died. <laughs> But I also understand that a lot of the time my characters will be out because when they get wounded they have to wait a while before they can return to action, so... I guess it's smart to uh, try and upgrade every character, not just the ones you create. But... But yeah, that was pretty good. One step closer to taking back our planet. Promote. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. I didn't realize I made They're him also uh... trained in pistol marksmanship. For... I uh, I didn't realize I made him a sharpshooter. some of our most advanced equipment wow. specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty serving as our demolitions experts the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it Ranger serves as our oh, he's a ranger. Unit, hmm, okay. Capable of moving independently I'm totally cool in concealment with that. while engaging enemies at close range. Right on. Advanced scope. Commander Sweet. to the research labs. Impressive, isn't it? 
capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Teigen, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. New research. Mod modular weapons. Hybrid materials, alien biotech. Let's do new weapons. I, I think that's the most that important. Um, to be among I think I realize now why my available. why I didn't um, see the intro like I did last time, and it's because I turned off the tutorial. That's probably why. <laughs> Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander, getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe... You should have known better. The alien... Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. That's kind of a lot of pressure to give somebody While who just woke up, for but uh. Operations and continue our research. We can pass oh, time by right. scanning Let's, at uh... sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans Let's on the do surrounding this. area. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Hmm. Um. Not there you go. I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. New weapon upgrades available. Hybrid materials, island. Magnetic weapons. Um, we'll do this one. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. 
I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Nanoscale vest. Wow. All right. Um, we'll do. We'll do alien biotech. I'd you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Um. Let's go here and see if I can actually build any new weapons. Maybe not. Two Advent Troop 30 Supplies. Wow. Alright. Um, I think that's a good place to leave off part one because I'm scared that if I, um, if I keep going I'm gonna end up dying and I kinda wanna know and be ready so thank you guys for watching I, I hope you enjoyed and uh, remember to subscribe if you like the content you know uh, I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father he was uh, something of a miracle worker getting the Avengers power back online was a miracle I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't he gave everything he had to get the ship running but he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here.